Jason Sheath had no idea by age 30 dialysis would become vital to stay alive. 2.6 million Canadians live with or are at high risk for kidney disease and in 2003 Sheath was added to those statistics. I was sitting in a nephrologist's office in Kamloops, BC, um, hearing that I had 18% um, of my kidney function left and that I had a, I had a very rare uh, autoimmune disorder. Basically, my immune system attacked my kidneys over the space of two years. Sheath was told he immediately needed to go on dialysis, an idea he rebelled against until 2005, when his symptoms of nausea and fatigue could no longer be ignored. Blood filters into the kidneys and in the process of the filtering there is also um, the release of important hormones and chemicals that regulate the entire body. I almost lost my life actually um, because I was so overdue for dialysis and started on the process there from 2005 till 2008 I was on hospital dialysis. Um, it was very difficult. It's a regular scheduled treatment that is often painful and fatiguing and uh, has a lot of side effects and it's a marathon that never stops. Not wanting to be tied down to a machine, Sheath decided on a home hemodialysis unit. He learned how to operate the machine in hospital, but home alone, it was a different story. When you take this machine home, it's like a newborn. It's like taking a newborn home. It's gonna scream, it's gonna alarm, it's gonna, you know, all hours of the night, you're not gonna sleep, you're gonna be stressed, you're gonna be, and that's exactly what happened. Um, you know, you're dealing with machines and machines break down. Um, the problem, of course, is that you're at home, you're alone, there's no nursing staff, there's no doctor, so machines break down and you have an issue, it, you know, it, it, it's a challenge. Shake all the air out. Air is the key. You don't want any air in your lines. That's for sure. Sheath says he was told sleeping while using the machine might be a challenge in the beginning. You know, it's like boom, alarm in the middle of the night and then you know, now at the point where it's not a big deal, you know, why when I wake up to an alarm um, and my wife's learned to sleep through all that stuff, she's a heavy sleeper luckily most nights. Ideally, Sheath does dialysis five times for nine hours a day. He says the biggest benefit to the home unit is his freedom. But being home, you know, if I have to go away for a weekend or I want to catch a flight, I can, you know, I can do dialysis right up until the minute I leave and, and then go and not have to, you know, I could fit much more things into my life or go for some time in Jasper and, and, and schedule things around it. He says doing his dialysis at home rather than the hospital has helped him to maintain a positive outlook on life. I'm in law school. I'm in second year law school. I have a wonderful new wife um, and a beautiful stepson. Who, uh, who, who've come into my life now and all these things I never would have imagined when I started down this path in uh, 2003. Tammy Karachik, Shaw TV, Capital Region.